If you have a Samsung Galaxy device that has just received an update and you notice that Android Auto no longer works, then I can show you how to fix it. Installing the latest over-the-air updates are always recommended to keep your device secure and as bug-free as possible, but there are bound to be some updates that introduce conflicts with other systems. And that's the case with the November 2024 update from Samsung, as it changes how the maximum restrictions feature works with its built-in auto blocker security feature. With the latest update, Samsung made it so that the maximum restrictions option blocks all USB connections unless it's being used for charging only. That means it will not allow any data to be transmitted through the USB cable when this feature is on. This, in turn, ends up breaking Android Auto since that's how many people connect their smartphone to their car. But thankfully, there is an easy way to fix it, although you will end up sacrificing some of the security benefits of Samsung's auto blocker feature a feature that honestly takes things a bit too far in my opinion. So, if you have found that a new update to your Samsung Galaxy device has broken Android Auto, then you should be able to fix this by first launching the Settings app and then scrolling through this menu until you find the Security and Privacy option. From here, we're going to scroll down again until you find the auto blocker feature. And then you're going to want to tap on the actual text for auto blocker as some devices end up having a toggle that will disable this completely. And instead of disabling auto blocker entirely, you can tap on that text to be taken to this menu here, where at the bottom of the list, you'll see maximum restrictions listed here. So once you find maximum restrictions, go ahead and tap on that. And then you'll see this toggle up here at the top. So go ahead and tap on this toggle to disable it, as that will prevent all of these restrictions from being implemented. And it's this block USB connections feature that is breaking Android Auto on Samsung Galaxy devices. I have also read that rebooting the phone after you disable that feature is required in order for these changes to take effect. Samsung has had a lawsuit filed against them due to this auto blocker feature. So it's curious that a new update has enabled even more restrictions like this. But thankfully, there's an easy way to fix any conflict with Android Auto as long as you're willing to disable the maximum restrictions feature within the Auto Blocker menu. Now, let me know if you have any questions about following this guide. And please, do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android tips like this.